Welcome. It's April the 8th, 2022, and this is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Agenda, we've got news, She Code Africa Contributathon, Google Summer of Code, and I had something on weekly change log process, but I don't think we need anything on that. Meg, any other topics you want to put on the list? That does it for me. Sounds good. Okay, so by way of news, uh, oh, a good one. She Code Africa has started. Started April 5th. We're in the two week period uh, for community bonding. So getting to know each other, understanding the project, talking about how we'll deal with each other, preparing blog posts, those kind of things. And that's new this year. We did not have that last year, right? Correct. Last year we did four weeks, started and stopped and boom. And, and this year we're making sure that they're configured, ready to do the work, uh, that they're introduced to the team, that they've had some introductory training, those kind of things well before we actually start the official work. Excellent. So, so preparation right now, and then, then we, will, we will start the actual work in, it's about two weeks from now. So figure April 15 or 18. And that'll only go for four weeks. And then they have a two week end of project period. So it's, it's a good match. Yeah, sounds good. Now there are, are detailed notes in the meeting notes from our meeting earlier. So the meeting that was yesterday in calendar time uh, has a bunch of notes on things that we described, took them through a tour uh, the two of the contributor, two of the Chicote Africa women that were there, we talked about the steps they do to download and run Jenkins, create a GitHub account, create an account on gitpod.io so that they can do video, they can do website development. And there's this tutorial that shows how. And then we discussed how to divide the work between us. This is one actually, Meg, where it'd probably help if I show you what, what we've decided to do is, let me show you the idea. The idea looks like, oh, where did I put the sheet? Is this it? Nope. These are the people. Nope. Have I closed the sheet? Maybe I hid it away. So uh. what I've got is a worksheet that lists every plugin sorted by installation count. And then I assigned 15 of them to the first person, piece o Okafor, and 15 to the second, Catherine, uh -huh. uh, Kitu, and Kiru. And then we alternate back and forth. And what I was just doing was doing some sanity checking searches, looking for inclusive naming failures in those. And in each, in the first two or three blocks of 15 that I checked, I found at least some in every case. Uh -huh. And these are very popular plugins. So when I say the high popularity, these are the top 30 or 50 plugins, which means averaging more than 200,000 installations each. Oh, yeah. So, so those, are, those are good things. And many of them have been solved, right? Many of them are there. There's no reference to slave or no reference to master. And, and so that's good. That's a win. But having just found a few that says this ex exercise of having them go through it is valuable. It will help us weed out those last few remaining things, even in those high volume plugins. Yep. Excellent. So the idea is we'll use that sheet as the, as the arbitration point to decide who's going to work on which, which things and how, and we'll let it run from there. Terrific. Um, so that's really the topic I had there then. And for Google Summer of Code, we've got ongoing reviews of projects are needed, of, pro of plans are needed, of proposals are needed, and due by April 9, so that um, the candidates can refine and submit in time for the deadline, uh, which is April 19, if I recall correctly. So do you have a lot of proposals ready for review? We have, we have 
three or four or maybe five that are all being actively reviewed on different different topics, two that are very active on the Git, Git idea, two that are very active, two or three that are active on um, another one, and then the plugin health topic, we've got one very serious one. So it's, it's looking okay. Yeah. Those are the topics that really I had. Are there other topics you wanted to bring, Nick? Dare I bring up my old favorite, any movement on that? So good question. Let's put open PRs there. I think that's what you're talking about, right? Right. So Mark still has not negotiated, has not made the trade with uh, the security team for uh, some of their time. So I'll, I'll talk with them. It may not be tomorrow, but I hope to talk with them before, before our, we meet next week. Yeah, well, let's not burn you out. I mean, if it waits another week right. or whatever, I was just curious. Yeah, and that that's me is I'm I'm admittedly accepting that I'm going to fail on some of my action items just so that I can keep the other ones get the other ones right. done. So and if this give if this makes you comfortable that you failed on this one, this is a good one. Exactly. You know, I mean, some some of them are more serious if you fail on them. Let's face it. Right. Exactly. Some of them are, are much more pressing. Have a have a hard deadline or yeah. Exactly. I just kind of want to make sure this doesn't fall off the edge of the earth. That's all I care about. Right. And, and that is wholehearted agreement. We're going to, mm -hmm. we're going to get that thing through all the way to the end yet. If it kills us. <laughs> right. Seemed like right. such a good idea at the time. It, it was a good idea and it still is. So any other topics we should discuss today? I don't think there's anything else urgent. I think the GSOC stuff is probably calling. Okay. Then let's call tonight done. Thanks, Meg. Have a great evening. Thank you. And you too. We'll talk bye -bye. soon. Bye.